I'm Steven Masava, one of the MCC members and uh, working with the New Testament Churches of Christ in Bali Mission. I want to share a message of encouragement today, this morning, from a book of uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. And it is a message of encouragement, more so during the time that Paul was put in prison and he had no other way but the only alternative was to look to the Lord for his survival. Uh, I remember of one time when the great spokesman, in the names of Martin Luther, was saying, you cannot see a star unless there is darkness. And it was during such times of darkness that uh, his will was pointed directly to Christ Jesus, and that is how he was encouraged. This book was written during the time that Paul was in prison, and he's writing a book to encourage the Christians of that earlier church. He's telling them to remain strong basing on the relationship, and this is the scripture reading. He says, Rejoice in the Lord always again, and I will say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanks giving, let your requests be made known to the Lord. And the peace of God which surpasses all comprehensions will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Paul is speaking this message during this time of hardship that he was put in prison. He is trying to encourage Christians at the time because there is nothing else that they are looking at. But during such hard situations, hard times, of suffering, he comes to his knees and speaks of this. The joy is internal peace that somebody could enjoy personally. And you cannot, you cannot give that joy to anybody, but it can be internally enjoyed by you. So if it is the joy to be enjoyed by you, so it cannot be the physical one, but it is based on the relationship that he's having with Jesus. What can lead us to have this joy? We talk of circumstances leading us to experience this like hard times. When he's writing this, he's in prison. Just like now people are in lockdown. We are just comparing that, but we are not in prison. People are in lockdown. And it is a message at this time that fits the current situation that being in this lockdown, still we cannot fail to understand who Jesus is. He says he's near, and we have to rejoice even during such times that seem to be hard in our lives. People are also suffering. You see, people are suffering in terms of physical needs. No food, no medical care, no proper physical needs that they are meeting. But uh, we want to encourage each one of uh, our hearers outside there that it is during this time of suffering that we are going through that we can experience the Lord so much. It is just like a, a child who is going through, through struggle. And when he sees or knows that the Father is here, he will always be glad and happy and rejoice because the Father has come. When Jesus says that he's near, people now rejoice because he's with us, even during this time that there's lockdown. Um, 
there are circumstantial uh, differences that comes, circumstances that comes. We don't plan for them, but they just come and uh, in, in, inducive in our lives. So such circumstances, like this pandemic we called COVID-19, has come. We didn't plan for it, but it has come. Now, when such circumstances comes like this, we need to come on our knees and understand that Jesus is the only one who will save us from this. There is nothing that happens in this world without God understanding. And because God understands, so he will have to restore all that will come in force like this pandemic. So Christians, we need to understand that whatever happens, God understands. Now, what should we do as Christians for this case? As Christians, this is an application that I have to let you understand. Knowing Jesus as your personal Savior, more so during this hard time, is very important. We need to follow Jesus. Follow his teachings, follow his sayings, follow his commands. And we follow him knowing that as we follow him, he will have to rescue us. We also need to form our lives around Christ. Forming our lives around him means um, the hard situation, the suffering, the challenges that surround us will be experienced with joy. It is very difficult to tell somebody who is suffering that uh, you will have joy, but if we form our lives around Jesus, then the joy will eventually enter into our lives because our focus will be on Him. And that's the way we should go. We also need to be faithful to his mission. He calls us to be faithful to him. Being faithful to him means we have to trust him. We have to believe in him. We have to walk with him. We do everything knowing that we are faithful to his mission. Because he calls us, come, follow me. And also do the teaching and preaching to other people that... Uh, they will not perish from this world. Now he's speaking to us, understanding that as we do all this, then he is near us and he's coming to rescue us from every struggle, every hard situation, every suffering that we are going through. And um, I want to encourage all Christians, so those of New Testament churches of Christ, wherever they are, those MTI students, MCC Christians, New Testament churches of Christ, please, where you are, continue worshiping the Lord. Continue trusting Him. Continue standing firm. And God who understands everything will give you the peace of mind. And eventually, you will see that uh, we are restored to how it had been before. This is just a message to you. Please stand firm, and this is not the end of the world. Understand that God has not left us. May the love of the Lord be with you all.